Hi everybody, I'm Tina from Tina's Workshop and welcome to my imagination. So I got home today, went up to the mailbox to get an order that I had that had come in and I was very happily surprised that my Paradise Fibers subscription came in today. So we've got a blue sky which kind of goes with my whole thing here. Um, but summer blue sky, I don't know, there's some clouds. I have no idea what is going to be in this. So let's switch you to tabletop and see what's in this. Okay, here we go. Now, I am not affiliated with Paradise Fibers at all. I just buy these because I like them. Okay, let's get the cards out first. Let's see. August 2023. That is a beautiful. Let's see. Get it where you can see it without the light hitting it. It's a beautiful scene. And there's our blue sky. Okay. Uh, go here first. Those are and I don't know which is which. You know what? We're just pulling them all out today. We'll go from there. Because those bags are not going to reveal anything. Lots of splats of color. Hmm. Blue skies, splats of color, and that. Okay. I'm just going to pick one and open it, and we'll figure out what it is. And they kind of gave us a picture to go off of this time, so that's kind of nice. So this one seems to be Sweetums. 50% mulberry silk, 25% flax, and 25% merino. So that's what this one is. And that's, oh, it's the flax. I'm like, there's an odd feel to it. And I was trying to think of what it is. It's the flax that I'm feeling. So there's that. So merino, silk, and flax. That will be, that will be interesting to spin up. Okay, let's see. Uh, this will go for this one next. Ooh. Okay, this one is Erie Silk. So it's just silk. And it is a total little white cloud and very shimmery that's pretty so there's two so far let's see what is next Ooh. now this is one Okay, so this is Egyptian cotton. That is something I have not worked with yet. I have not worked with cotton at all. I have, if you've watched my channel, I did work a little bit with flax, but I haven't done much with it. But I've never worked with it in a blend like this. And I have not, I've only touched a little bit with the silk from the 
subscription a few months back that had the cocoons and I've been playing around with that but I haven't spun and I've spun with silk blends but this is my this will be my first experience with cotton so this is really kind of neat so this one is one ounce no this was one ounce this is 1.5 ounces and this one's one ounce okay one more bag and this is two ounces so this one says two ounces of kermi or gonzo custom blends so it looks like it's either you either get a green or you get a purple and I got green and I like green green's my color more than purple so I'm kind of happy about that and uh, let's see if it says what oh Kermi is 50% Tessa silk 25% flax and 25% merino so again we have a flax merino and silk blend but this one's tussa silk and this one is mulberry silk and you've got two ounces so we've got a total of two three four five and a half ounces of fiber this month so here's all of our fiber now the picture has a little frog so i think he's going to have something to do with this but let's see what is in our notions bag, shall we? I don't think I needed to do that. I didn't need to share that. Oh, well. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's see. We got our Eunice sticker. Isn't that? So cute. Bob Rossi. <laughs> I don't know if that's really a word. I mean, I love Bob Ross, so I kind of had that idea already. But there's a little clue here. It says happy little clouds. So we're going to go with that. So super cute unit sticker. And we got 10 bulb pins. Oh, and there is a stitch marker in here. So let's see. Oh, look at that. Look at the cute little stitch marker. It's a little paint palette. Oh, come on. Come in focus. Stop it. See how cute that is? Okay, so stitch marker, bulb pins, stash tea, of course, decaf chocolate hazelnut, be a good one to try. Last month's was very good, by the way. And a multicolor pin. It changes. Mine happens to be broke, but that's okay. I'm sure it will still work. It's got a whole bunch of colors in it. Uh, okay, now there's kind of a bunch of different things going on here. So let's see what the inspiration is. Our showcase pattern this month is Frog by Claire Garland. There's the frog. He's cute. Uh, available on Ravelry. Check out Fiber Club exclusive deals. Uh, savings and a fun froggy video. This month's theme was inspired by Bob Ross's whimsy and creativity. Oh, wait. Now these bags make sense. They're the paint splats on the paint palette okay i get it now i'm getting this uh the secret to doing anything is believing that you can do it bob ross did you know you can use bulb pins as row counters okay so they're giving you a little bit of information on using your bulb pins as row counters which is why they've given you so many of them and i have seen that lately so that's kind of neat okay 
Eerie silk is largely produced in India and Thailand. It comes from a species of silk moth named Samia ricini. I'm sure I didn't say that right. Which feed on the castor plant. Eerie silk has shorter staple fibers rather than the continuous filament found with mulberry silk. That I did not know. The fibers are short because the adult moth moths split the cocoon when they emerge because the moths are allowed to live. Ah, this silk is sometimes called peace silk. Now that I didn't know either. So, eerie silk, they allow, they allow them to live, so it, the, the silk fibers are broke, which is like, which is like what I showed you here before. So these ones, they came out of, which looks usually really crummy like this. And then I cut them to clean them off. But these fibers are split because of where they emerged. So with the Erie silk, they let them emerge. And with the mulberry silk, they don't. So they get a continuous fiber. I didn't know that. Learned a couple new things today. So that is our, I don't, still don't really know what to call it. Our happy little clouds package. That's what it is. It's our happy little clouds package. There we go. There. Happy little clouds package. This this is going to be fun. I, I don't know. I kind of want to do the frog, but I have never... I have not knit... Um, a character yet I've crocheted them but I have not knit them so um, it will be it will be interesting so um, I want to show you a little bit here this was um, two months ago in the staycation blend and I spun it up and I, I oh it was lovely to work with it and it's yeah I mean, I'm still not the best spinner. I am, I've only been doing this a year now, but it, yeah, it was really a nice one to spin. And I've been doing a lot of the natural fiber dyeing. This is one that I'm just working on today. Um, I'm just randomly using things in my yard and I do a piece of paper towel and then a piece of wool. So this one's actually still drying. Two completely different colors though. Um, this is a laurel leaf snail tree that's in my yard, and this is a silver buttonwood bush or tree. That one, I, I think the colors came out really nice with that. This is a um, succulent style weed that's actually edible, and, but it didn't give me very much color. And this was another weed called matted sand mat, and I really like the way that color came out. I did a little bunch of that one. Irish rose succulent. You saw that one, which means you've seen the rest in here. So I'm still playing around with my my dyes. And well, I hope you've enjoyed this. And I know I have, and I can't wait to, to play with the different things. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Click the notify if you'd like to be notified. And we'll see you again. That was good. Did you enjoy that? A little blooper at the end. We'll see you again soon. Bye.